Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Crimson. Alabama is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 20. 3, 19. Good run. Nice run up the middle. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. at midfield brought down at the 46 they go with the option and pick up the first down yeah and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself that's a good decision from the 46 yard line first down inside handoff he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line that makes it second and ten Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes the catch, and look out. He goes out of bounds around the 43-yard line. They could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. On the ground with the tailback. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. Outside for a nice game. Second and six. Ball on their own 36. There he's in again, and he's tackled in the backfield. the 49 from their own 49 yard line first down just throws this one away even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers
yep. to that quickly. And he's immediately tackled. That's a nice six-yard gain. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. And this is the eighth play of the drive. to the tight end incomplete. That makes it fourth and four. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. The punt goes out of bounds of the four yard line. And so far it's been totally even. In close games like this every possession is likely to matter. goes around the seven yard line they line up at the seven second down and he's taken down at the 16 yard line that's a deal first down down as he works the left for a nice game. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Makes it to the 31. First down. Again, he'll get the call. Runs it right. Nice pickup. We've played one. Still no score. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. handoff they'll bring him down at the 36 the d-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield it's third down and five to go ball on the 36 yard line and he just gets rid of it and that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Caught with room to work. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. Number one on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Four down, four down. Keep the seven to Mike. Watch with the seven. He is drilled at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 43-yard line, 
It's first down. They come out in a five wide set. Caught open field, and he's tackled at about the 29 yard line. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. And they push him out at the 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Zone touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 61 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it out to about the 36. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Brought down at about the 41. Number 27 makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. That brings him second and five. gets rid of it it's third and five ball on the 41 yard line here's the tight end has a first down and they make the stop right around the 30 let's go let's go Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. That brings us second and nine. Quick throw out to the receiver. 
receiver. And he hits him hard at the six yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown, Tigers! So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. We're even at seven in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he throws it away. by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. So we've played two quarters. We get a tie game at 7-7. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Nice run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Not a lot on that one. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a short tackler like this linebacker too often. for the halfback. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. They come out on an empty backfield. 
Gets it. He's in space. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Gets to around the 42. That brings up second and nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. Back to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He fights forward to about the 40. Here's a little draw play. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29. He's at the 20. That's a great tackle at the 14. That makes it first and 10. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hand off up the middle. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throw, he caught it. Touchdown, LSU! And he tacks on the extra point. LSU, ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it to the 34. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets out to around the 48, and that looked like the same exact play they just ran. I think it was the exact same play, and that was a great pickup, too. Anywhere. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 25 yard line. hit and taken down that's three down and one to go the Tigers with a touchdown lead all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15. Green nine, green nine. Run, 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 run. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this play is number eight on the drive. down and they're going to try to go for it. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 74-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. 14 apiece. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. We've got a second and 11. Ball on 24. After positive yardage. That makes it third and seven. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 32 yard line. it out to maybe the 33 yard line you've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial you want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent now he tries to buy some time tackle around the 43 yard line It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line.
Just under three to go in regulation. Makes the catch and look out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Good open field tackle. yard line first and ten ball on the 26 he flings it left fires quickly and they got it touchdown Alabama's star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. That's exactly what we just saw. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and ten. Ball on the 48. He's under pressure. He wants it all. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Throws middle of the tight end, and they make the stop at the 38. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He throws right. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16. Receiver and it falls incomplete. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Caught end zone for the touchdown.
And here's the PAT to tie this thing up. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Under a minute left in the game. And he adds the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. We are all tied at 21. LSU is ready to kick it away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He's taken down right around the 40. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 44. to avoid these penalties are a great way to stall out a drive second down and 10 to go ball on their own 39 it up and he got it game over and that gives them the lead i know that i call kickers head cases but this kid isn't one it's like he doesn't even feel the pressure a great one to win a really tough one to lose 24 21 crimson tide so, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Alabama comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.